female. I don't think you, you should know? say that. <laughs> that's problematic. <laughs> you that, can't okay, say this because they're two gay guys that wait, they don't know the that they won't be able to, you know, be able to tell her how to take care of herself. Yeah, uh, comments like that come to us like, oh, what are you, you going to do when they turn 13? Because, you know, you don't know, you know, you're not a woman. You don't know these things. <laughs> hey, guys, we're getting a call right now. Let's listen in. <laughs> I placed my daughter for adoption at 19. Should I tell her I'm her birth mom? What do you think? Based off what you know, there's gonna be more information. You can change your mind after. Eventually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd have to ask the adoptive parents, I think. Yes! But outside of that, I think you should. Yeah. <laughs> But I feel like she's in the right to know. You know what I mean? Yes, she you, yeah, 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 yes, you have to ask the, the, the because they took on when you didn't. So they have to see what the dynamic is because they know you're okay. They know how. So yeah, parents knows best. So yeah, you're the mother, but they were the parents. So yeah. I feel like there's so many factors that go into this. It's not a simple like yes or no. Her name is Kyohana. <laughs> I read the first time Kohana, and I was like, damn, I love Naruto too. Leaf Village. Pop. You know that shit? Oh, yeah, sure. You go, 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 go. Jutsu. No? Oh, motherfuckers that run like this? Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Kyo. No, I don't know. Be the niggas that run like this. Hey! Hey! I'm so proud. Do that shit again. We. Hey! No, do that again. Hold. Cut, 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 That was not even a real thing. It's just I'm a fan of Israel Adesanya, and he did that. And I was like, yeah. And, and he's I see, a fan of anime. And yeah, and I see yeah, that, that video. Shit again, yeah. I, I see that video. Yeah, when so, you do that shit when you just get knocked out, when you like, <laughs> Koki Bono Jutsu. Oh shit, my nigga. <laughs> Stop playing on my guy. Stop playing on my guy. Yeah, Puss. so so that's the, that's the only, because he did some shit like that and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and I, and I'm, yeah. A, I'm, a, I'm a real big fan of that dude, so. Let's carry on. When he did the, the whole fucking Death Note shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, bro, that was old school shit. No, I no, f that. you, f you, I, yo, I, f I, you. I, you wanna know why? God damn. Yeah, yeah. This is for all my weebs. You've been shitting on me for being a weeb forever. For Dungeon and Dragon. This, 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 no, 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 no. Even for anime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't think I don't remember. Yeah, for okay. Shit. Then you I see this you. Nigerian dude. Okay. No, no, no. It's not because of Nigerian dude. I speak Creole, and you not, and you gon, you gon shit on me. But this you don't even know. You gonna be like, oh, oh, this shit cool now. Bro, we're not friends. Calm down. And you're not his friend. Are you his friend? No. Okay. So you're at the same level. So I can do whatever the fuck I want. Oh, so you treat us so differently. Calm down. Why? I can shit on him. We have a business relationship, though. Yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 and? yeah, yeah, yeah. And? I look out for you. Yeah. Okay, so what's up, nigga? I don't look out for you. I don't have your back. You know what I mean? You like bikes? I think bikes are scary. I'd be worried about you. I want to live. No, you're not. Shut the fuck up. I swear I'd be worried. Oh, shut the I'd fuck up. I'd be saying, up. hey, bro, you want to have kids someday? You got a wife. You got to be thinking of yourself. What makes you think I want to have kids? The world deserves a preach child. No. You just got baby fever. Calm down. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, yeah. I told you from the get go, from the jump, all right? I used to watch it back then. So I know the Death Note. I know the Princess Mononoke. I know some bats and some, 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 some Trigun and some, some old shit. Okay. And then happened that I started fucking. So I had no time to fucking watch anime. And fucking weed shit. How much fucking are you doing? <laughs> Listen. No. Enough no. not to have time. Oh, I'm a dude. Check on your penis. It's just a lot. I'm kind of in the middle because, like, if the child wants to reach out to know their birth mom, 100%. I think that perhaps she should have a conversation with the parents first and make sure that they know and then getting their consent, basically. I see my 11-year-old daughter often, and she doesn't know I'm her birth mom. She's 11, and she sees her often. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Probably, no, it's not weird. Um, it's weird because she's... It's weird for her. Uh, I think it's going to be weird for the kid when they find out. Yeah. Because it feels like they're being lied to. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But any kid that's been adopted feels like they've been lied to. Except, you know, the people that don't match their parents, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? True. Like you, you adopt a black kid, and like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not your real mother, and the kid like, the black kid's like, oh, what? <laughs> I 
I mean, I think you're not I'm adopted. Saying. You're stupid. You I, know I, what I mean? I think I think white parents have to tell their kids they're adopted. Yeah. If you don't, I feel like that's just child abuse. I think I want to go over here. It's the eleven part. That's. I'm like, like you. I'm like in the middle. It's very oh, much in the middle. Because I'm coming <laughs> over. She's so young, and to like get thrown that information at eleven, it could go negatively, positively, and I feel like. <sighs> if I reveal my identity, my birth daughter could possibly have a relationship with her half-brother, uh, my 10-month-old. <laughs> that girl, get! That's um, like, <laughs> that, that, that was a good reveal. Well, wait, what do you mean relationships? You don't have a relationship? Whatever. It was a 10-month-old, so she would know she has a brother, which I guess is a pretty big deal. Yeah. At this point, does that change anyone's minds? Being a parent, and you know, I went through surrogacy, but possibly have gone through adoption before. And even when we were going through adoption, we were always like, "Yes, we're always going to tell this kid where they come from, who their parents are, so that we can be open and communication." Right. But that was our decision in the process being a parent. So these parents now who are, who have taken over the adoption, they have a right to be able to say whether or not they want to know. I moved because I'm personally adopted, and I don't know how I would feel knowing that my birth mom was in my life for so long and knowing I was adopted and just like having all those questions and just not getting the answers and my mom lying to me. So I just feel like if you're open and honest now, it's better. They'll understand, but it's not traumatizing as yeah. much as like 18 and you already got your life going. Exactly, right. and you did it for a reason, I assume. Like I believe my birth mom put me up for adoption because she didn't take care of me. And I have this amazing life now because of that decision. Of course, there was some resentment and like, ah, oh, you didn't want me, da da da. But like when I got older and stuff, I realized that it was all for the best of me. And that's also a big thing. So kudos to you. I, that was definitely a hard decision, I believe. It would have been hilarious if she's like, no, I got a trip to Cancun. I, I want to hang out, chill. Having a baby would have cramped my style. You know what I'm saying? Something about changing diapers keeps all the fellas away. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a while? There's some dead beats out there. It's like, man, I had a lot more oh, fucking yeah. to do, little Jimmy. Why couldn't you have a dad? Because other bitches needed this dick. Oh, yeah, I've seen them hooplas. <laughs> what? This is a funny thing. <laughs> I saw this one interview with this guy who, like, walked out on his kids. Mm -hmm. And they're like, man, having kids is just a lot of energy. And someone's like, you left your kids, man? He's like, yeah, he's like... Well, then you're a deadbeat dad. He's like, yeah, but I'm an upbeat man. And the man just started. <laughs> <laughs> and I never forgot that. Piece of shit for walking on his kids. Don't give a shit. But I've seen some parents and them motherfuckers oh, yeah, look the, tired. The, yeah. Sleepless nights, chained in diapers, a lot of energies invested. I specifically chose a gay couple. So she has two dads um, with the intention of not having the issue of the mother later because I knew I wanted to be in her life. I have gotten permission from them multiple times and was given that as like one of the criterias of the adoption. And I am treading extremely lightly around them and they just continue to choose to not tell her. Ooh, okay. Remember what we said about the white mom? What? Having a black kid. Yeah. And she got to tell them early. Yeah. If you're two gay dudes, you should tell your kid early. Yeah. Sorry. Cause she already knows y'all not her mom. She knows there's someone out there. So whether you tell her she's adopted or not, she already knows that there's a woman out there that's her mom. And she's been hanging around her mom this whole time. So it's, that's a different thing. So it's two dads that don't want to tell their daughter that she ha who her mom is or that she has a mom. <laughs> Messy. Yeah. Not the football player. Just the situation. Yeah. I think naturally she's going to have questions about her mom. She's getting to the age where like she's going to hit puberty and be like, oh, you guys don't know about periods. How do I do this? Well, what female? I don't think you, you should know? say that. <laughs> That's problematic. <laughs> you that, can't okay, say wait, just because they're two gay guys that wait, they don't know that they won't be able to, you know, be able to tell her how to take care of herself. It's not problematic. There's some things as a guy I cannot say. There's some tips and tricks I cannot say to my daughter. There's some feelings I will never be able to... That, that's just a fact. There's some things that a woman cannot say to a boy. There's some things that you cannot comprehend. 
walking the world, walking life with testosterone. You cannot understand that the same way I can't understand what it's like to have progesterone and estrogen in your body. I don't know. Yes, you do have testosterone, but that that's a whole different all that's a whole different cocktail. I cannot know. And there's some things navigate the world. It's a different shit. So you can't be their mom any more than you could be their school friend. You're not five anymore. They need to be around kids their age and socialize with them because they understand each other on a different wavelength. They have fun with each other. That's why no parent can provide their kids with everything. And certainly a man can't give a woman everything she needs to know to go through life. The same way a woman can't give her son everything he needs to go through life in terms of mentorship. We have to go to other things. So yeah, she's going to have questions. I, think, I don't know. To me, two gay can a gay couple provide a child a wonderful life as parents? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't doubt that. Can they handle most of the basic? Absolutely. Yeah. I still need, they need a female figure somewhere around them to be able to help them with certain things. Mm -hmm. That's just a fact. That's not some abnormal. It's like no matter how much a man... She, she contacted me about this, actually. Who? Um, the one who was adopted. And she was saying like... She said that her dad is a gynecologist. Mm -hmm. And that like, still. even though he's a gynecologist still. and he studies pum pum. Still, still, still. That's what she said too. You can study the pum pum, you don't have a pum pum. All right? Tell him. It's not because you study Chinese that all of a sudden you're Chinese. No, you know the language. And the you're not the person. You you're go. not Chinese. Okay? I can study a bunch of shit. I can study the dance of... I am not that. I will never be that. I will never be raised as that unless I'm raised as that. And that's, that's but even, a, even then. It's, it's certain struggles you're just not going to understand firsthand. Sometimes I want to be with somebody who I don't have to explain things to. I want to be somewhere where I can be understood. That's why I like, there's a certain level of comfort I feel around my black friends that are just different from other folks. Doesn't mean I can't be friends with other groups, but there's a d different understanding. Same with my family. There's a different understanding, a level of like knowing that they have with me that other groups don't because they've known a history with me that's very unique. My father provided me with things my mom never could. It is what it is. We all need these different kinds of figures. So there's nothing upsetting about hearing the fact that an adopted woman is saying, I could have. A, mo a mother figure is a good thing, but anyways, I digress. That's true. Sure that I, I meant have. like the way, like, <laughs> I would hope so. like, like putting in a tampon, you know? Yeah, I mean, that that's what they signed up for, to that's have true. a little girl, you is know to what? show her how to take care of herself. She, she said, that's true, you know yeah, what? Yeah, but hey, not. listen, my girl said that shit's problematic. She said, hey, I don't want to be canceled. I'm going to just let this one go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you saw the way she walked yeah. that shit, man. She said, oh, "You know what? Oh, that's true. You know, I, I was adopted, but I'm gonna just listen to you who wasn't adopted." Okay, let's go. I'm curious. Um, what is their reason for not wanting to um, let you tell them? They haven't given me one. Um, I've been told it will happen multiple times. It's been, "Oh, she's starting to ask questions. We should sit down and talk about it." And then when I set up the meeting, we don't discuss it. Okay, that that changes my mind. I think that's not fair that they're not giving a time frame for you. I'm gay and I have a husband and I have two daughters. Our two girls know everything. We've told them everything, they know everything. I don't know the reason why they're not telling her. All I know is that as a gay man who has two daughters and who are constantly, you know, having uh, comments like that come to us like, oh, what are, you, what are you gonna do when they turn 13? Because, you know, you don't know you know, you're not a woman. You don't know these things. Um, I have many strong women in our lives, like my husband and I, I and we're going to lean on them when that happens. But for that 11 year old to be approached by you and say, I'm your mom, in her eyes, yes, that would be fantastic. But those two guys are now going to be looked at as someone that they can, that this little girl cannot trust anymore. I'm curious. Maybe. <laughs> did this a child? Did did did. did I got smoke for you. Did society change? Sorry. Ah, I see what you uh, did. I started, I just, ah, I just, I, just, I, started, ah, I, 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 I got smoke. Did society change so much that we're not prioritizing the needs of the parents before the needs of the child? Yeah. He's saying, well, you know, the adopted parents, like, what about their feelings? I don't give a fuck. Nope. This is a conversation about whether or not the young child should know. And their feelings and their well-being comes first. Last I checked, society is supposed to be built that way. Mm-hmm. It's why we protect our kids. It's why we give our lives for our kids. So when I'm hearing this, I'm like, you know, they're trying to make out homegirl look problematic for what she said. Her being like the adopted woman who actually went through that experience firsthand. And instead of like really taking that shit and trying to understand, they're like, actually, that's problematic. Let's focus on the fact that two parents are... 
I suspect it's because it's two gay dudes, and so people are talking about that shit because it's problematic, right? They're trying to be more pro-LGBTQ or whatever. Then just if you think about it, what's the best for the child? We're not saying you can't be. Well, I think there's just one guy that's really trying to think like that. The rest of them are like, yeah, you should tell her. He's just like, no, what about the parents? Even Jubilee is like, mm -hmm. no, the Kona Ha girl. She was the one who said it was problematic to Kona say she, Ha girl. K -K -K whatever. The Leaf Village. She she was the one. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. She was the one, the one with the afro. Here you go. Is that better? She was the one who was trying to say that what she was saying was problematic. I just feel like there's an emphasis on trying to say like. It feels like they're prioritizing the gay man's experience over the adopted woman's experience when the whole focus of this video is on the adopted woman's experience. Absolutely. I don't think there's anything problematic with what she said, and I don't think the parents' feelings should come before what the child needs. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I feel like there's something backwards about that. Am I crazy? No. Is well, that, yeah, is that, but not for that reason. Okay. Is that what's happening in this video, or am I, I missing it? Yeah, but it's not like... Just the way I understood what you said was that Jubilee was trying to do that. But it's really just no, no. The, the girl and the guy. Yeah. Afro and... Well, everyone else stayed quiet. <laughs> it's not because they agree. It's just because she's so... It's problematic. It, no, but she's so loud about it. That some, some people... That's the thing. They don't want confrontation. No, nah, they're like, Ugh, you know what? I'm a, it's, I agree. I am not paid enough. I am not paid enough. To get canceled. To, no, 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 For no, free. To, to just, yeah. Yeah. I'm not paid enough. I to, agree. That, that, so, so they're like, it's not so much that they agree. It's that they choose their battles because that's not the battle that's going to solve the world. True. That's going to change anything. That's gonna, I'm just going to change someone's uh, view and have a whole bunch of bad comments on the internet. Fuck that shit. Fuck that noise. I'm going to sit this one out. This shit is what's lasting an hour. We're almost done. Yes. Let me let me coast that through. Yes. So it doesn't matter that it, it doesn't mean that they, they shut up, that they agree with it, or they just they just chose their battle. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. But I think the fact that they don't feel comfortable enough to speak is also part of the issue. Because they're filmed. There's a camera. The, the, you said it yourself. I agree, which is what I'm trying to mm -hmm. say. It, we're even prioritizing a gay person's feelings over the well-being of a child. Yeah. And we're not speaking out because we're afraid of being canceled. Or we're not degree. really because we, we do not, we're not having, we're not going to take a decision whether she's going to, uh, whether she's going to actually say it or not. We're just speaking our opinions. And there's too much to lose sure. than to win sure. winning that fucking sure. argument. Sure. So fuck that shit. I I'm going to shut the fuck up and go back home and then forget about this whole thing. Yo. Because we know how the internet works. If you think about it, this is a really bizarre... I'm going to clip you, bruv. It, 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 it looks so bizarre to have an adopted woman saying like, yo, this is what we need. And they're like, well, the gay adults would prefer... I, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck them. Who cares? What matters in this whole scenario is her. Yeah. What does the 11-year-old need? And the idea that they would stop trusting... She, she, the young daughter would stop trusting her parents because they didn't tell... What is going to happen if they wait till they're 18? It's not going to be better. <laughs> It's not. What you think is gonna happen? You you wait till eighteen. Or that, or that she find, this or, woman I've known my whole life who I've wondered about because apparently she's been asking questions, right? According to the the man's own the woman's own words, she's been asking questions about who her parents are, who's her mom. You've been hiding it this whole bro, time. She's eleven. She's eleven. She's not stupid. No. It's, it's, it's gonna be even worse mm -hmm. if she finds out by herself. Absolutely. She can shut. Everybody down. Yes, sir. The two parents, the mom, every fuck you, fuck, you. fuck you, Absolutely. fuck you. Everybody out here. So Absolutely. it's not better. I agree. My dominance because I gave up that right and I gave them the the option to choose which women they want in their lives to fill that kind of motherly role. I'm adopted. If my birth mom came to me and was like, "I'm your mother," and my parents knew and didn't tell me first, that's where I feel like the distrust would come from. Do you feel like you want to be? her mother again? Is that um, like part of your intention? No. I, I'm a huge ally and I chose gay dads because I knew that they would be, I knew that she would be loved like uh, what I wasn't able to do at the time. Thank you for that. And, um, awesome. yeah. But I don't have their perspective at all. I'm a cis <laughs> heterosexual woman and I, I haven't gone through any of anything that they've gone through. Do you want to be the mother? No. <laughs> then shut your ass up. He says, hold up, hold up. That's facts. <laughs> at first she said she chose two gay dudes because she didn't want a mom to be in the way so she can come in back in the future. Now she's trying to say, I chose two gay dads because I'm an ally. Girl, if you don't get the fuck up out of here, is that how people are really choosing parents now yeah. for their adopted kids? Yeah, because women oh, are very I protect. love the LGBTQ. Can I get three lesbians, please? Like, what are we talking about right now? <laughs> you owe it to her to be honest and to be trust and to be patient. And you owe it to them to be patient. You know, it's been 11 years. I think you can be patient a little longer and let the dads 
do it on their time. They said that they will, and I think that should be respected. Paige, have you made your decision? Uh, yes. I'm gonna tell that bitch. <laughs> Would have been hilarious. She said, I've carefully deliberated, and I understand, and I think I should be responsible to the gay dads, but fuck them niggas. Hey. Hey, what up, little baby? I'm your mama. <laughs> Just like this, strike a b-boy pose. You know what I'm saying? Let's find out. Let's find out. Actually, I have no idea what's gonna happen. No, that would be a hilarious. She's gonna say she's not gonna say shit. Overall, do I disagree with the decision? No, I don't think the mom should just come out of nowhere and say it to the kids. I don't I don't think that at all. I actually agree with the notion that probably should be a discussion between everyone. It was just interesting watching the conversation unfold and how mm -hmm. it was dominated the way it was. But I don't think Gabe was entirely wrong about what he was trying to say. It was just interesting that at first it was just like, oh, well, what about the trust and how the parents feel, the gay man? I'm like, who cares? And how long does, does she have to wait? And you said you have to wait a few more years. How long are we talking? No, it depends, like, on, the I feel, it depends I, I, on the child. That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. That's true. And so check on the child. Like true. check on the child. The child. True. You don't know. Like I said that before. We don't know what the child is, what the state of mind, how fragile the child is, or whatever. You need to assess that. Be a parent. Be a motherfucking parent. You Here's why I mean? disagree. Here's why I disagree. Go ahead. They're gay. If it was a straight couple, I would feel differently. It's, it's crazy. It's even crazier if if it's if it's not even gay people, because your school that's cool. You're gonna know. You're gonna see. You're gonna see what your education that you know babies come from, men and women. If it's actually biological, like but not biological, but if it's like a man and a woman being the parent, being the other, it's even worse because the kid can not suspect at all. And live thinking they mom, they dad, and then they just ask questions. Mom and dad, whatever, blah blah blah. Live their whole life, and eventually, oh shit, I'm adopted. The feeling is that your whole life is a whole lie. Worse than if there's just gay people. You know what? Hey guys, we're getting a call right now. Let's listen in. <laughs> Hello. Yo, I want to ask you a question. Okay, so as an adopted child, if you got two scenarios, you just tell us what you think would be worse or better, right? Are your parents white? Oh, yeah, my parents are white. If your parents, okay, this is a question. If your parents had been black, do you think you would have needed to know early? Definitely, definitely oh. early because there's like a trust that's built with that. And then if you learn at 18, you're like, damn, my whole life was a lie. What else have they been lying about? All this stuff. But if they tell you early on, it's like, open trust and you just like love them as your parents and then you can also just i don't know i was told i don't even remember being told also it's like my parents are white i'm black so there's that you already know um, that nobody needs to tell you you already know you're adopted yeah right i'm sure they like introduced the word adopted like yeah we went and we chose you mm. it was always like the the narrative like we chose you we wanted you mm. we to be a part of our family. Like, if my parents were black and they told me at 18, I would feel so betrayed. I'd have so many questions. Me, personally, I feel like I would have, like, trust issues with them. Let's say you're, you're, you have white parents and they tell you you're adopted, but they don't say who who adopted you. Um, what would that be like for you? Nah, that's, that's a red flag. I'd be like, why? Right. That, see, I would be like, why? And then I'd be like, they have the insecurity that they don't believe that they're my parents. Or that they don't believe that I would think that they're my parents. Or so, there's like an insecurity there, okay. which is a red flag. Inter interestingly enough, I feel like your situation is kind of analogous to the other situation with the, the gay parents. Only because, um, from my perspective, whether it's you or that young girl... Both of you guys know that your parents aren't like your biological parents. So whether they tell the person or not, like the kid already knows. So I feel like withholding who that is, isn't that like pretty harmful to some degree? A hundred percent. Okay. hundred and ten percent. You have to know where you come from. Mm. And if the parents have negative things to say on the 
birth parent to the kid, yeah, I also feel like that's a red flag because at the end of the day, the birth parent gave life to you, mm-hmm. and that's what that's like a gift, you know. Mm-hmm. And they should not be shitting on the birth parent to the kid because, like, I feel like there's something in there that would harm the kid and have like a negative like i don't know i just feel like that's harmful in some way and i feel like also withholding that information makes it seem like adoption is bad yeah Ooh, like, speak yeah. on that speak on that yeah, yeah like it's just like it you it's such like a negative thing like oh i can't tell them they're adopted why not it's such a beautiful process you chose me you wanted me like yeah just it's just like such a beautiful thing and it should be well when it goes right yeah i get used to just the idea of being chosen and wanted by somebody when when somebody else doesn't like it is a beautiful thing that they're willing to take you in like family yeah successful adoption stories are very beautiful well listen i appreciate you uh calling in it was really good for the perspective so thank you of course tell them not to cancel me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> all right we will yeah because you problematic yeah 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 we coming for you yo yo <laughs> yo no but no but mama mama that was yeah i feel like you kind of shut down after that shit and i that ass, I, I was like yo let me shut up because like what if i'm talking crazy right now and then i was thinking about it and i was just like I'm just saying the it's like different to hear a man talk about it because they can only learn so much from like books and the internet. But a woman going or someone with a vagina that goes through it, you know, it's just different. They know the feelings. They don't they they know the emotions that go with it. They can relate to you on that level. And that's all I was saying. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate you guys. Have fun filming peace, or man. editing or whatever you're doing now. All right, peace. I don't yeah. think she knows she was going to be in the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, yo, 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 yo. Hey, guys. We're getting a call right now. Let's listen in. That, that, that's the thing is that, you know, it's not because I eat muscles that I know yeah. what the feeling of a muscle is. <laughs> I don't know how it is to be an oyster, you know? I just, yeah. I just know I eat them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was, it was interesting. It was a cool video. So let us know what you guys think. We want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Do you guys agree, disagree? Do you feel like we were unfair? We want to hear from you guys. Anything else? Boom. Peace.